Atom's new plugin is now easily the best way to multi-stream, all from a single instance of OBS. Now very quickly, people sometimes ask me, why should I bother multi-streaming? So just pause this video if you wanna know some reasons to multi-stream. And yes, this does work for anybody. You can get a stream key. They're obtained from free to join agencies. There's genuinely no major downside to joining them as long as they are a decent and professional agency, which is why I made my list, which I've put in the description. And you can read this entire page, including this 12 minute explainer video, if you wanna know even more about agencies. Once again, they'll help you get a stream key and it's in the description. So we need three simple pieces of software. Of course, you need OBS Studio in the description. You then need two Atom plugins, starting with the Atom Multi plugin and also Atom Vertical. So download and install OBS first, don't open it, and then just run through the vertical and multi installers, accept all of the default options. And at this point, you can now open OBS. So you wanna get it looking like this with the vertical stuff somewhere on the screen, mine's on the right, and the Atom Multi, which is on the left for me. So here's how to do it if you can't see it. So at the top, click on Docs and make sure Atom Multi Stream is checked along with vertical scenes, vertical sources, vertical, and if you use scene transitions, that as well. And you might find it popped out a bit like this. So all you have to do is drag it and you can drag it anywhere. As you can see, I placed mine on the left. You can also drag the corners to resize. This setup works great for me, landscape on the left and vertical on the right. To start with, let's make sure your canvas is the right size. You only really need to change this if you're gonna use 1440p or 4K on a YouTube multi-stream. So click into settings or go file settings and head to video. We'll look at some other settings later, but these are great for a 1080p live stream and we'll be able to manually change the resolution of each live stream on every platform you want anyway. But if you do want a 1440p or 4K YouTube live stream, I'll put those dimensions on screen now and you just manually type those into the box. And then later on, I'll show you how to scale down for platforms that don't support it, which is basically every other platform, Twitch, Kick, TikTok, etc. So if you set your stream to 4K or 1440p, press apply and okay. Otherwise set it to these here, just 1920 by 1080 and press okay. Again, we'll look at some other settings later, but actually let's head back into the settings because what we're gonna do now is set, as you can see, what's called the built-in stream. This is our first landscape stream. And here, click on service and choose either Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, or choose custom if you're streaming on Kick as your primary platform. And your Kick dashboard will have the URL and stream key. But if you are streaming to Twitch, I recommend you choose this as the primary platform because you then get other options such as enabling enhanced broadcasting and the Twitch chat add-ons if you're docking your Twitch chat inside OBS. Enhanced broadcasting does some encoding on your end and sends a 720p and 480p stream to Twitch to make it easier for mobile viewers. That of course uses more upload speed, but if I check it and head to output, you can also see it means I can't change the settings for some reason. So I'm actually not going to enable it. So we've chosen our primary streaming platform for landscape. And by the way, you can stream on TikTok in primary. So if you're gonna do that, just choose custom and enter your TikTok stream key and of course server URL. But let's look at more settings for this multi-stream plugin. Let's click onto output. And most people can just keep it simple. So output mode, simple. Video bit rate, 6,000 by default for a 1080p live stream. This is to keep Twitch happy. Again, we will be able to manually alter the bit rate for each stream. But keep in mind, all of these bit rates will add up. We'll talk more about that later. 160 audio bit rate, H.264 hardware encoder, P5 preset. AAC default audio encoder. And you can copy my recording settings too if you like, not too relevant. Audio, the defaults are nearly always fine, except most people, instead of having a nested scene like I've got with my microphone and headset, you would usually just hear, add in your headset and here you'll add a new microphone. Once we're happy with all of our landscape settings, let's click okay. And that's saved all of our landscape settings. And let's just check the Atom vertical settings for our vertical canvas. So let's click on the settings cog on the vertical canvas. And you can copy my general settings if you want. We're mostly interested in streaming. We'll look at how to add all these different platforms in a bit. So I'm not too interested in that. What I am interested in is the bit rate. And the bit rate you set here is the bit rate for all of your vertical live streams. So you can see my bit rate's 4K. So with my current settings, we would stream to Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and X in 6K. And we'd stream in 4K to the others. Of course, you add that all up. We're keeping it simple and using the main OBS settings. And we just set those before. 
And again, we'll look at how to add these platforms shortly. Let's just press OK and we've saved our bitrate. So let's now look at how to add all of the different platforms to Atom Multistream. And of course, we'll start with TikTok. Let's hit the settings cog on the left. And if yours is yellow like mine is, it says I've got a new version. So we'll be back in a second once I've installed it. And there we go, the yellow outlines disappeared. So we'll now open the Atom Multistream settings again. And quite simply, we click on main canvas to add any landscape stream and the vertical, of course, to add vertical. So first let's start with TikTok. And as I mentioned earlier, you can either choose to stream in landscape or vertical on TikTok. Unfortunately, it doesn't have compatibility mode like Live Studio does. If you're unsure, choose vertical. So let's click into vertical. And as you can see, I've already added it. Let's pretend I don't. You just click on add output, click onto TikTok, and then it's got a handy link to the live producer. So you can just click on that link and then open up the live producer. And of course, again, you need a stream key from a free to join agency in the description. And you just hit go live. It's always confusing. You're not actually live. And then just copy your stream key and server URL. And keep in mind, this changes every single time you go live and you would paste it into this box and click create output. Again, you can see I've already done mine. So here is mine. And if we check our advanced TikTok settings, we are just using the vertical encoder. So as you saw earlier, we set the bit rate on the vertical encoder to 4K. So this is a 4K live stream using the main OBS encoding settings. And if you're gonna stream in two places, my current recommendation is YouTube Shorts. So I'm just gonna fully remove YouTube Shorts. Let's do it from scratch. I'll click on add output. And by the way, the reason I recommend it is because it basically operates the same way as TikTok. Anybody, even with low followers and subscribers, can hit the For You page on the YouTube Shorts feed. So we'll click on YouTube. I'll rename it to YouTube Shorts. YouTube's a bit of a faff compared to Twitch or Kick. We'll use the primary ingest server. We have to go into the creator dashboard. Personally, I don't actually recommend clicking this link because we want to use past broadcasts if we have them. So instead, just go anywhere on YouTube, click on create and hit go live and click schedule stream in the top right corner. And if I was actually going live, I would use one of my past broadcasts because we're just testing. I'll use one of my past test broadcasts. We'll just reuse the settings. And of course, for a real live stream, we'd go through all the different options. And when you're happy with your options, you press done. Great thing about this, you only have to really do it once because it saves all of your settings. Then you just reuse the past broadcast. So here's what I recommend you do on YouTube. Ultra low latency, auto start, auto stop, and set yourself a static stream key. So if you don't have one already, you can see I've got a few different ones. Click create new stream key and just make a static stream key. This means you don't have to change the stream key every time. You do have to make the new live stream in the studio every time, but you can just copy the stream key, head back into Atom Multi, and then just paste it into the box. Then you can, of course, just save output. And now we have a YouTube Shorts stream. Once again, in the advanced settings, I'm just using the vertical encoder. We'll look in more DL if you want to actually change more of the encoding settings and bitrate later. And I do have Instagram added here as well. I'll put a link in the description on how to find your Instagram stream key. You basically just need a professional Instagram account and click the plus button. And then of course you add other service because it's not listed here. Now, as you can see, I'm also streaming on YouTube in landscape. And yes, you can stream from the same account in both landscape and vertical. And I suggest it if you have the bandwidth and I'm streaming on kick and X as well. So I basically showed you the process for YouTube already. You basically just do the same thing, but you need to create a second live stream. So once again, in your YouTube studio, you would go back to the manager and schedule a stream. This time it would be the landscape live stream. Make sure you have a separate stream key. And then you would just put this into the settings. Let's do kick now, pretend we don't have it added. Click on add output. Kick's really simple, just click on kick. You can see they've already got the server URL. You just click on the link for the dashboard. It pulls up the dashboard, you just copy and then just paste and create or save the output. Kick and Twitch are both the easiest platforms to live stream on because you literally just hit the go live button with no other changes. So save that. And again, as a reminder, as you can see in the top left, we are also streaming on Twitch and those Twitch settings are in the main settings, file settings. And once again, let me show you the process quickly for X. You need a premium account on X for this. So you just choose the server closest to you. For me, that's Ireland. Click into the producer, click on create source in the top right and make a stream key. So as you can see, I've made a stream key and you would click this drop down to reveal it. Then just paste in the stream key and save the output. And X is kind of similar to YouTube. So you click on broadcasts. 
click on create broadcast, give it a name, give it a category, and the source is the stream key. And you can then start streaming from inside OBS. It would pop up in this preview. You would click on create broadcast, and I then recommend you click the tweet button as well, which will send out a tweet, AKA X post. And Facebook gaming really is dying, but if you've got the bandwidth, if you've got the upload speed, why not? It doesn't use any more GPU power. You could go ahead and add Facebook as well. And you could even add Trovo. I multi-streamed to Trovo for quite a while, never got more than two viewers. Especially if you're in Eastern Europe, I think you might get more viewers. So once again, as a reminder, it's using your upload bitrate that we set in the settings. So currently for me, if you look on the left, it's using 6K for each of these. So I'm using 24K on the main canvas and it's using 4K for each of these, so 12. So I'm using 36K of upload speed. So head to speedtest.net and check your upload speed. But that brings us nicely into how do we change the bit rates? How can we downscale to 720p? Because not everybody has unlimited upload speed. So let's look how to do that. And let's head to the vertical canvas. And this is where most people choose to do it because the mobile viewers often don't need as high of a quality. So let's say we want to stream in 720p and 2K bitrate on both Instagram and YouTube Shorts. To do that, we're going to click onto Advanced Settings. And instead of using the video encoder, I'm going to use H.264. I'm going to leave it on CBR. We're going to change the bitrate to 2000. The keyframe interval is 2. Let me expand the settings a bit and all of these look fine to me. So I'll just click out of it to save it. And we can do the same for YouTube Shorts if we want to stream in 2K on YouTube Shorts. Or, you know, we could change it to anything we want. But we'll leave it on 2K. So keyframe interval is 2. All of these other settings look fine. So I'll click on advanced settings to make it disappear. You can open it and close it to check. And then press OK. And that's now saved it. If we reopen it, you can see everything is still here. So now we have unique settings for our Instagram and YouTube Shorts live stream which has lowered the bitrate a bit. Now it looks like if we head into our main canvas, we can actually scale it down to 720p. So unfortunately there, we're gonna have 1080p in 2K. I think Atom will fix this in a future update, by the way, this software is literally only a day old. So if we look at kick, let's say we want a 720p kick stream, click on advanced settings and change the video settings from the main encoder to H.264 again. Now we've got the rescale output. So 720p, I would suggest 30 FPS. And the output scaled resolution, of course, goes down to 1280 by 720. Again, if you want to go up for YouTube, you can go 2560 by 1440. I'll put the 4K resolution on the screen as well. I think we can go up to this 16 samples or 36 samples downscale filter, by the way. So I'm just going to go to the top one. And again, we're going to go down to 2K just as an example. Once again, two second keyframe interval. All of these other settings are fine. So I'll just expand it so you can see it all. So now we have a 720p kick stream in 30 FPS. So unfortunately, for whatever reason, you can't rescale on vertical yet. I'm pretty sure they'll fix that at some point. So if we just press OK to save the settings, you can just see how flexible this is if you need to change the bit rates, if you need to change the resolution. And again, as I said on YouTube, you can stream in 4K or 1440p on YouTube. So you could rescale the output up and you could rescale it up to 1440p, for example. If we stream that in uh, 50 kilobits per second, that will literally be one pixel. So check the YouTube documentation. I'll put it on the screen for the recommended bit rates. But for example, you could go to 15k bit rate. Again, let's change these settings back up to something that actually makes sense. So two pass quarter resolution, PVT on, two max B frames. And again, just another example of how flexible this is. If I press OK and save the settings, you can see we've got so many different settings saved now. We've got a 1440p YouTube stream. We've got a 720p kick stream. Again, we're still on Twitch in 1080p. We're on X in 1080p. Again, it's so flexible. We're on Instagram and YouTube in 2K bitrate. And of course, we're still on one instance of OBS. And I'm not going to talk too much about setting up your live stream, but basically you add scenes. You can see I've got starting, just chatting, main display, etc. You add sources. So for example, you would add your display capture. You would add images on the screen and you would do just exactly the same thing on the vertical canvas. If you need more information about setting up OBS, I'll put my 2024 guide in the description. So it's pretty simple, of course, when you want to go live, you just click the green button on each side. Again, this software is so new, I'm sure at some point they'll add a go live on all platforms button where it's just one click to go live on everywhere. 
I think on Atom Vertical, you can just click the drop down and click start all. I think this green button does the same. That will send you live on all vertical platforms at once. If you want to keep it simple, just go down the list and click on each button and it will send you live on all the platforms. Of course, there might be additional steps depending on how you've set up different platforms. Instagram, you'll definitely need to press a button to go live. And YouTube, if you didn't set auto start, you'll have to press a button there as well, as well as X kick twitch and rumble make it easiest you just go live on those platforms without even doing anything it just uses the settings from your previous live stream anyway let me know what you think i think this is easily the best way to multi-stream in 2024 now from obs as long as you have the upload speed if you don't have the upload speed i still recommend streamlabs and streamlabs ultra because that can just use one 6k or two 6k upload streams and spread it up to 10 platforms so I'll put on screen now both my 2024 OBS guide if you need to further set that up and Streamlabs as well.